Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and in this video lecture I am going to talk to you uh, about a very very important question that I receive always that how can we finish CSR net paper on time it's so big and I received this question from many of my subscribers and uh, to be honest yes the question paper is really big and it carries so many questions uh, you need to figure out which one to answer it makes even more more difficult because you know if they give you the number of question that you need to answer like say if they give you 20 question you need to answer all the 20 question you can take your time by reading all the 20 questions and then analyzing the questions to answer but in reality they will give you many questions in group C they give you 75 questions and they only want you to answer 25 out of that 75 questions so here they are not only checking your ability to answer a question but also they want to see how you can analyze a question how you can select a question and your patience as well all these three things also being tested by the type of question that they are asking so how exactly you will finish the question now the first question is is it required uh, to answer all the questions and most of the questions the answer to it if it's uh, like four years back I should have told you no but now I should say yes it is required to answer enough number of questions many question as many question as you can because right now the cutoff is approximately 60% or above 60% in many times so in that case you need to answer even like 80% of the question because if you answer 80% of the question there will be some negative marking then finally you will get to know the 60% of the marks earlier it was like only 50% of the question answering uh, will be done but right now you need to answer 75 to 80% of the question so yes a huge part of the question you need to read and answer and once you want to answer the question obviously you need to read through that question and as there are many questions and you need to answer only few uh, in that case also you need to read all the questions to finally find out the question that you want to answer so all these things together making it very very difficult to manage the time during the exam so how to manage the time I have earlier I made videos earlier regarding managing the time during the exam but at this point I am going to give you some extra tips here the first thing that you select is the pattern of how you attain the question uh, because the question divided into three different groups right uh, so I can I can give you the groups let's say here group A and uh, group B and finally group C okay group A uh, all the two marks questions so actually you need to answer 15 into 2 30 marks in group B you need to answer 35 question into 2 that is again 70 in group C you need to answer 25 question 4 marks each so that gives you a total marks of 200 now the question is the number of questions that they are providing here is for group A they are providing 20 questions it's not very difficult part to select 15 out of 20 right only 5 questions to spare in group B 50 questions so 15 questions is in your hand to spare in group C 75 questions and you need to answer only 25 so one third for every three question you need to answer one so the total number of questions out there if you see 70 plus 75 145 questions and actually the number of questions you need to answer is 50 75 so you need to answer 75 question out of total 145 questions and that's huge approximately one question out of every two questions so 50 percent of the question you can select and 50 percent you can leave so actually there won't be much problem in group A because only five questions to spare so and also group B only 15 questions to spare but the most difficult part will be in group C because the questions in group C are huge they are the biggest one and the questions listed there in group C they are analytical so you need to read a lot of the question the questions sometimes take half page even more even one page through only one question so that is the most difficult part while managing the time this is group C okay so the very first thing that you decide when you start answering the question is to start with group A 
because at the very beginning the exam generally is occurred in the morning time so your reasoning skills will be kind of fresh at the very beginning so you can start with group a and as you are not a master of group a because these two group b and c are from your subject knowledge while group a is not from your subjective knowledge it is reasoning and little bit of mathematical so I, as I know that most of the biologists are not fond of mathematics very well. So you can think yes, this is not my zone. So I'll encourage you to answer 8 to 10 question from group A correctly and that will be very good deal based on the amount of knowledge you have for this section. And actually in reality there are many reasoning questions that you can easily answer with your normal common sense or IQ. So you can answer 8 to 10 question from group A. But remember do not give more than 25 to 30 minutes to group A preparation or answering group A not more than 25 to 30 minutes even 25 minutes is the maximum that you should keep while in then you come back to the subject part when you are, you are in the subject part you have B and C many people think like I start with B because once we end up with B then you can go with C because C the maximum one take most of the time but sometimes what happens when you start with group A then group B in this particular sequence I don't think this sequence is to be good because I think it's going to end up in uh, loss of time because you start with group A then group B you'll see at the end of both of this preparation according to my calculations it should not take more than 50 minutes uh, to end from A to B but in reality if you start with A and B you take almost more than one hour and generally average time taken to complete while people are answering group A and then group B is approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes. So if it's 1 hour and 15 minutes time taken, then you the rest of the time that you have in your hand is 1 hour 45 minutes. And 1 hour 45 minutes time, you need to read 75 questions and selecting 25 out of them and answering it sounds really, really difficult at the end. So it's always beneficial to start with group A, this will be the sequence 1, then go to group, group C and take 2 hours flat for the preparation of group C. If you know the subject well and if you practiced enough number of questions just before the exam, you'll be able to finish group C in 2 hours and this is the part you need to become master of. Because it's not a difficult part about group A or B because you can restrict group A till the part. Now, Let's say you start answering the question in group A, it already become 25 minutes and you only answered on 5 questions. Leave it there. Don't answer any more question from group A. Then come to group C. Because play by time. Don't play by the number of questions that you've answered. Always bound by time. Because time is the thing that bound us. So first, bound the time, 25 minutes. Once reached, whatever number of questions answered in group A, leave it. Come to group C. Start group C flat two hours in hand in the two hours time you need to answer 25 questions so this is the point you need to think which questions that you should answer by taking the questions you know that if you take this question you will be able to answer correctly so in not only you need to select the question but also select that you will be able to perfectly answer them correctly so once you select those questions then start answering them and complete it within two hours and even if you can less than uh, like five minutes less than two hours will be better then come to group D because once you finish it in two hours you already have 35 minutes still in your hand left for group B and actually group B questions are subjective questions and those are direct questions so subjective direct questions will not take more than 30 minutes to complete so you can easily conclude at the end of the group B preparation actually group B questions are flat so if you know the answers you can write you can put that put it into the OMR if you don't know the answer no matter how much time you will get you won't be able to answer it but this is the part if I give you some more time you will become good in group C so group C demands your time not group A not B uh, group A is also demand your time and there are some uh, time consuming question in group A as well there are traps as well but as we are restricting it by time they are not going to destroy your total time span but rest of the two group B and C B does not demand much time but C will demand your time so give whatever time you have to prepare C and actually it's more important because 50% of the total marks are from this one particular group okay 
so always try to answer it separately now the question is how can we read 75 questions on time and answer 25 correct questions among them now to know that I also listed you a several video in separate video I mentioned that what are the different question number uh, from where the question asked from different modules different units because you know the questions asked for a same unit will be present side by side it's not like scattered they always put the same unit questions along with each other so whenever you find one question yes this question is from module 3 the letter few question or the, uh, the question above will also be from the module 3 so it's always good that if you prepare module 3 very well if you locate one question in the question paper in the module 3 rest of the questions you can also locate and try to answer it so always beneficial to start with group uh, C uh, if you start with group C here this is another sequence and then come to group A take two hours in group C then come to group A only 25 minutes to 30 minutes then last 30 minutes to group B so I keep group B in the third sequence in both the way either A C B or C A B both the way will work another thing here is whenever you're selecting as I told you whenever you're looking at a question and you see yes this question in from group uh, group uh, module 8 so you know that yes module 8 you prepared very well so your aim will be once you get the question paper is to find out the questions from module 8 how to find that one out I already told you in a separate video the number of questions uh, that they ask from every module and the list I also provided so stay tuned and watch that video uh, where I mentioned the question number for module every single module which is very beneficial you just uh, turn like take the question paper and look at that question directly try to answer it so whatever module you prepared very well first answer the question from those modules and after answering the questions you see if you answered 10 questions successfully now you only need to select 15 questions then what you should do you should go back and forth it's not necessary to start from the first page of group C like question number 76 to 145 nothing like that you can answer 140 question at the very beginning it doesn't matter the thing is only once you answer it and you, you should fill the OMR in the corresponding number of the question that is the most important thing another mistake people make at this part is they take pencil and once they start answering the question this start filling and start putting marks in the question paper first that yes option B is correct then the option A is correct things like that and the OMR keeping the OMR blank throughout the time so at the end in the end five to six minutes are the time when they start filling the OMR so before that in five minutes the OMR is completely blank so think about it many things can go wrong like uh, at, uh, during that time right and the time that you're relying on your you may be looking at a question at the last five minutes you start to fill the OMR most of the time you'll, you'll end up in mistakes because if you put a question we know the answer correctly even if you fill it in the in the wrong place in the OMR that will lead to a negative marking so don't do that because I see many cases uh, from my personal experience that in my coaching offline and online coaching as well that people that used to do the same process made up mistake in filling the OMR and if you fill the OMR that's final you can't change it because you need to fill it with pen you can't change once you fill the OMR so it's very important whenever you are looking at a question you know the correct answer you put it into the OMR don't keep it uh, till the last part to fill it okay it's a very very bad habit you should never ever think of doing that in future and another even biggest problem is whenever you start filling you, you realize that you fill the OMR wrong way then you also fill it another uh, blank or you just cross that OMR to, to ensure that that should not be counted but that is even worst because if you cross it badly and if there is a uh, ink going going straight and crosses like that in your OMR sheet your OMR sheet may be cancelled and once your OMR sheet is cancelled for one particular question it may give you minus two but you may qualify mm, with the help of other questions but if you do a cancellation of OMR everything every preparation that you've taken goes in vain so don't do that okay so keep this thing in your mind uh, only thing you need to excel in this group C you don't need to read all the 75 questions so the power of reading and how exactly you read the question depends on how much you practice the questions okay so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more tips and tricks videos like that 
and if you want to join our online or classroom coaching program we are registering and filling up really fast so you click on the links that are provided on the top on the bottom as well as in the description so that uh, we can help you in excel in your career thank you